Welcome everyone. This is the Jenkins Platform SIG meeting. We're on the 30th of January 2024. And today around the virtual table, we have Mark Wade, Kevin Martins, uh, Kenneth Salerno, and myself, uh, Bruno Verrashten. Uh, the agenda is not that full today. We'll talk about open action items, of course, maybe a little bit about JDK21. Uh, we'll talk about the release work on the agent and controller images. Then we'll talk about the work in progress on images. Uh, we'll say a few words about the Docker-based quick start tutorials. And maybe uh, uh, how to handle operating system updates to Jenkins Core. So first of all, uh, Blue Shore Container, I guess we'll talk a lot about that in the next Contributor Summit uh, happening just before FOSDEM in Brussels at the end of the week. Um, so next sure. Friday. Yep, Actually, I'm hopeful we won't talk a lot about this particular oh. <laughs> container because we've got a lot bigger topics to talk about relative to Blue Ocean. Yeah, but my yes, fault. the container, the container is, well, Basel reminded me this. I, I should have done this long ago. It's just it's not that big a big of a task. Let's just get it done. But it's still not done. Yes, I was uh, mixing things. Of course, we'll talk about uh, Blue Ocean because it's crucial for CI Jenkins IO or Test Jenkins IO. Just can't remember, but not about the Blue Ocean Docker container. That's a very minor thing compared to right, that. right. We're right, Mark. Thank you for correcting me. Uh, next, Java twenty one support two plus two plus two Java support plant. I haven't seen anything new. I guess uh, in the Jenkins enhancement proposal. I know we are super busy with other things like preparing the Jenkins Multiverse Summit and first them. Mark, anything new to share? Yeah, so we'll, uh, we've will we put it on the list as a brainstorming topic for the end of the day during Jenkins Contributor Summit to gather topics that should be on the checklists. And so we will we'll make more progress and I'll probably make more progress while I'm on the airplane headed to Brussels um, trying to capture checklist items because... I keep discovering more and more things that need to be on the checklist. What oh. does it mean to stop supporting Java 11, right? Kenneth Kenneth and I were just having a discussion in a pull request about Java 11 and PPC 64 and and the the question of what which how many places do we have to modify in order to completely drop support for a Java platform? How many places do we have to modify to completely add a new Java platform when Java 25 becomes available in two years, you know, or a year and a half? So exactly those kinds of things. And that's what this thing is about. So it's it's good to do it. And then the people who are at the Contributor Summit, having them drop in to a little session about this and say, hey, here's this idea I have and this idea I have will gather things much faster than I can go broaden yeah. and deepen the, the details of those things. Yeah, I think we'll have the right set of force to discuss that, except right. that you won't be there, Kenneth. But <laughs> that's okay, we should make it nonetheless. Um, yeah, that's very important. We'll talk about ARM32 later on, um, because yes, we will have to drop um, the Java 11 support one of these days, and maybe we will have to drop support for some platforms that won't support anything newer than GDK 17, for example, a few years from now, um, maybe we should think uh, ahead of time of that kind of situation that will happen, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. uh, Mark, I have seen uh, last week, I guess, or the week before, a few uh, pull requests that got merged thanks um, to your comments and uh, pledge to people, uh, so to maintainers, so that they could uh, merge our pull request. Thanks a lot. I haven't checked uh, lately if we had still a, f a lot of them, but that's okay. That's a long run. Uh, yeah, we still have quite a few of them, but we'll work on that, uh, you and I, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Now, the release work on agent and controller images. Uh, we haven't seen lots of pushes recently, um, lots of different uh, releases. For example, we only had, of course, for the controller weekly releases from 4.4.1 to 4.4.3. And we have, oh, okay. I was not ready for that. Thanks a lot, Mark. Um, I checked on earlier and we didn't have the 
and we still don't have 2.442 <laughs> because it's, a, because it's, it's a, a, okay. a, a security release. 4.4.3 was easy. It was two clicks and I'm done. Woo okay, thanks. Oh, well, okay, I'll modify the document uh, later on. So is, is there anything really important to talk about? A few version bumps. Um, nothing major, I guess. No, not really. Well, well okay. Go so, on. so actually, there are. There's a crucial. There's a, a set of oh, several changes okay. that I made here in maintenance mode. And Kenneth, Kenneth has taken the next step in maintenance mode. So, thanks very much, Kenneth, Ken, for doing doing that. What we've, uh, for whatever reason, something lit a fire under me late last week, and I decided that it was. I was going to look at this. Oh, I know. I remember what it was. I was frustrated that we didn't have current Java 21. Uh -huh. And by my frustration, oh, it's we're one version out of date on Java 21. Well, guess what? I started looking and realized, oh, and we're out of date on this. And we're out of date on this. And this thing is inconsistent. And this thing is inconsistent. And this long list of maintenance pull requests that have been merged now are exactly the result of that That sort of winding twisty path mm -hmm. that will lead us to a later conversation in today's meeting about 32-bit arm yeah so yeah, yeah. so th this one actually has quite a number but but they are they are truly behavior preserving they were internal to the thing the next step is the one that's not behavior preserving and kenneth started it and i've started it and we need to it's it's a good one for us to have a conversation about here Okay, so is it listed in my uh, in the document or not yet? Don't know yes, if, you, if you go back oh. to the so one of them is I think the other is not. Eighteen twenty three at the very top. Kenneth's is okay. proposing a, a a nice improvement for the PowerPC images, and Kenneth as a PowerPC maintainer is doing exactly the right thing to do that. That's really great. <laughs> Yeah, except I did one thing you didn't want me to do, <laughs> and that's that's why we have code review, right? We we grin at it. We have code review that helps us. And I okay. have since uh, changed. Um, I put in an update to uh, do exactly what you asked. Great. Well, and and I've still got to do another review just to be sure I didn't miss something on first review. What what happened was you when your changes triggered my memory of things I had seen over the weekend, of inconsistencies I detected, and so that's mm -hmm. all it was. Is the reason I detect? Oh, I've seen that inconsistency before in this other place. So yeah, thank you. Okay, right. So you yeah, are... One yeah, one pet peeve I have is that we have a list at the top that really doesn't get used of what you intend to build, and then you have to remember to go to all the different data structures to add your and, um your platform so and and that's list... when i think i need to have a conversation with damien about because this bake file i agree there's redundant information right it's it's got some duplication it's not completely dry there is this the list at the top has to be duplicated at the bottom and i i'm not sure which is used where so so yes you're yeah. right absolutely yeah well, for even... sure the list of Go the top the list at the top is certainly not used to determine which images to build. Only um, the data structures at, at the bottom are. So I oh. had first I had first made some changes and then realized I had to update my list. And then you came back and said, "Put Slim back in," and I did that. Right. So it's so Bruno. What what Kenneth's noting is go to the very top. This is the same thing I noted, and I think I got to have a conversation with Damien because he understands this better than I do. Mm -hmm. Group Linux has a thing called targets. Yep. And Group Linux ARM64 has a thing called targets. But if I want to actually build for ARM64, I've got to be sure and also put it down in the specific, so specific, scroll a little further down and we'll get there. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> Whoa, right there. Perfect. All right. So let's just take Alma Linux 11, one that's going away. And if, if actually that's a good topic for this meeting as well. So Alma Linux JDK 11 um, spe says where it will build. It will build on AMD 64 and ARM 64, and it will publish those two tags. 
the connection between that platform's equals data structure and the upper target list is not exactly clear to me. I think, I think Kenneth, did I describe what, what yes. you're saying? Because if you want it, it's got to be here. If, right, if I exactly. want to create that container, it must be here. But I suspect there are cases where if I omit it from the top, I won't get what I want either. No. And, uh, no, okay. I found it'll, it'll still build it. So that's uh, I, really? I'm not sure where it's used. Maybe in some kind of other command to just list. Maybe that's what it's used oh. in. I don't really know. So, okay, so because... go ahead. I've made quite a few pull requests on uh, this repo and the other one that works the same way. And I thought I had understood how this thing works, but apparently <laughs> I was wrong. It, it just works by magic or maybe because I respected the pattern, but I thought I had understood that was not the case. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. What and I, and... So what I wanted to say was I, I did not have slim listed at the top under my uh -huh. architecture. But it was building the slim images and it was deploying them. And when I discovered that, I said, well, it's not in my list. I'm going to take it out. And then you said, well, you should build it. <laughs> I said, why not? Uh, I, I don't dislike the concept of Debian Slim. So I put it back on the list and in each of the target definitions. OK, uh, definitely not part of the contributing uh, documentation. Uh -huh. Uh, okay, we definitely have to have a conversation with Damien, for example, because it's not crystal clear. Well, and and that that data file, the the Docker build x bake command structure is is marvelous. I love what this thing does for us. Right, it makes our builds oh, yes. dramatically faster, much much more predictable. But it will help if I have a better understanding of when is target you you know which, which thing applies when right so yeah. that that's the that's the crucial question well and it, and i i don't dislike having that target list at the top because it's a summary mm -hmm. but it's a challenge keeping it in sync with reality of what you've defined mm -hmm. below right exactly got it so it's already pretty good but it could be better at least uh documentation wise i remember in 2016 i guess i had to put some uh, qmu uh, binary statically linked binaries into my uh, docker file in order to get another architecture to build on an intel x86 that's not the case anymore thank you docker build x and bake Ooh. thank you um so where were we uh we were talking about contour images right. i guess Yes, then we had, um, what was it? A security release of the um, latest LTS? Yes, and the latest weekly. Yep. Yep, got it. Oh, except once again, <laughs> go back there, click that. Yep. Once again, we did not, well, okay, this one is in the Docker. Yeah, I, I'll have to even look. I don't know if we ever have, re have listed the LTS releases in the, in the Docker containers. Oh, yes, we did. Okay, so we owe it. That's another one we owe. Good. Still needs to be done. Yeah. Good. So when I do the 442, 2.442 security release, I'll do the 2.426.3 security release as well. Thanks a lot, Mark. Uh, now for the Docker agent, nothing major. And this uh, time, I think I'm right. <laughs> there was just a little bit of cleanup. Nothing major. Got it correctly. Nothing really new. Um, the inboot agent is now dead or archived, so we the, won't see anything new. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, the inbound agent repository is dead. Inbound agent is very much alive. It's just being built inside a single. And, and actually, Hervé has suggested um, in conversation with me that we ought to consider the same technique, or same CCC. improvement techniques he's used actually for the Jenkins controller itself for core, oh. because core uses has multiple Docker files that are duplicating content, right? The, it's, it's dismaying how similar the UBI nine JDK 21 is to the UBI nine JDK 17. And he's found a way to factor those into a much smaller set of Docker files 
in this inbound in the Docker agent repository. And, and the same technique would help. Again, back to Kenneth's point that don't repeat yourself is a really good principle in these kind of things. Yeah, because that's not really stable. When you modify something, you forget to modify something else. And then in the end, it works until the next release where it doesn't work for whatever reason. So yes, <laughs> if we can get as um, you know, a low code as possible, one source of truth, that would be much, much better. Yep. Now, work in progress on images. So I think that's uh, work from Hervé. Yes, it is. It's not finished yet. Uh, the goal is to uh, define tags in Docker Compose uh, instead of code. I think it was linked to PowerShell. Uh, for the controller, it's still a work from uh, Hervé about adapt the JDK 11 and 17 manifest for Windows, uh, not finished yet. But well, and, not... and and because oh, it's yes. draft, because it's draft, it's not being actively reviewed, right? When yep. he feels ready for it, he'll switch it out of draft. Of course, of course. Um, oh, then we have the replaced Java 21 reviews with released versions. Good. So Mark, you did that this last weekend, yes. Right, right. So, so this one is, this one was the original catalyst for the series of five or six maintenance pull requests that preceded it. Uh, because while exploring this thing, I discovered, oh, oops, oh, oops, oh, oops, oh, oops. And each of those oops got a, got a new pull request <laughs> to, to resolve them. But this one has a breaking change. And, and oh, and that's a reminder, I need to label it breaking change. This one has a breaking change. And because it has a breaking change, I think we need more discussion here about it. So Kenneth has a, a similar pull request that just does the, the update for PowerPC to switch from JDK 21 preview to JDK 21 standard images. I like that. That's, that's the right approach. It's exactly what we need. Same thing is needed for system 390. Um, they're both no longer preview because released versions of the JDK are available now for both of them. And so that's, that's really great. Thanks to Elip Eclipse for doing the work on Tamarin. And, and this is positive. Back to the other pull request, the breaking change is that that ARM32 has been included previously. So ARM slash V7 has been included previously in the, in the previews. And yep. If we only did it for Java 17, we could have ARM 32-bit standard shipped in our container images. The problem is it's not available for Java 21 and Eclipse has said they're not going to make it available for Java 21 or for later after Java 21. So for me, adding it to just Java 17 doesn't, doesn't help nearly enough. It rather will confuse things and people will think, well, why didn't you add it to 21? And the answer is because we can't get an Eclipse Temerin JDK 21 that is qualified for ARM32. Yep. And you know how much I love ARM32 and how sad I am. Um, Eclipse don't want to work with ARM32 anymore for whatever reason. Uh, so I whined. Uh, that's what I do <laughs> best. best. <laughs> no, no, but, uh, but agents agents are a different. No, no, I guess agents are not a different thing, right? You're still a 32-bit Linux. Yeah, you're still a 32-bit JVM. Okay, yeah. Yeah, because one of these days we'll get rid of GDK 11, then 17, then right. I would be stuck. And that's a pity. Um, there is another vendor uh, that provides um, JDK 21 for ARM32. I think I saw that in these discussions. Yeah, it's it's mentioned. Bellsoft is the is the other vendor, right? Yeah. So it means that it works. Uh, you know, I how it's the test called TDC or something like that. So it means that it can work, but they are already so busy uh, in Eclipse that maybe they won't be able to do that, and maybe. I'm just one guy wanting this to work and the rest of the world just doesn't care. So right. that won't progress. We'll see, but I still have hope. If ever I can help, I will. That's for sure, because I have quite a lot of machines that would be then useless. 
Well, well, and and this doesn't this decision does not preclude your using the the Bellsoft JDK twenty one no. on your agents, right? No, no, no. That doesn't stop that. All this does is says for controllers, we're not going to attempt to do thirty two bit ARM support. And and I've I I think that what I'm hearing, Bruno, is you're not happy about it, but you accept the reality that this is yeah. this is okay, or or you accept this. It's not okay, but you still accept it, even if it's not okay. I have no choice. And right. frankly, to be totally honest, uh, there aren't that many ARM32 platforms uh, that work beautifully with Jenkins as a controller because right. it's yeah we need maybe two gigabytes of memory. And frankly, it's too slow to start. And even well, if you install it directly within uh, with systemd and so on, you have we, to tweak the um, uh, timeout so that it starts beautifully. And okay, I get it. For controller, that's maybe not the best idea I ever had. But for Jenkins agent, that's another story. They start really quickly. So we'll see. Well, but I'm not stuck. Agent container images is a different discussion i think it can of be course. but but here 32-bit arm uh, as i think about it you're right it's just not relevant for controllers 32-bit arm systems tend to have slow file systems and the jenkins yeah. controller really desperately needs a fast file system so so good okay so i'm going to proceed with that now i i had proposed not to merge that particular pull request until after fosdom because I fear disruptions from it and I won't have any time yep. between now and next week to do anything about those disruptions. Now, Kenneth, your your proposal for PowerPC, I think could be merged before FOSDEM because you're, you're available to do it, uh, to deal with it if there's any surprise. The next time it would actually become, your change would become visible if we merge it would be next Tuesday with the release of Jenkins 2.444. And and I assume you'd be okay with that. For me, that would be a, a good a good fit. Yeah, yeah, I'm in agreement. Okay, great. So so Bruno, I think that says for me, Kenneth's pull request is a subset of the earlier one, right? His his subset is just focused on PowerPC. And and it's a very useful subset, and I like merging subsets because that makes the the upper one smaller and smaller. It's now one of the one of the activities for me as a code reviewer is I've got to review Ken's Ken's pull request and mine to see where where else they differ because I I touched PowerPC in mine and now I've got to see okay did I do something different than Kenneth did if so why and but that's that's just a code review activity. Yeah, I think Mark, you change um, the way we build uh, the Docker files in your PR, and I don't think Kenneth did it. You know, you change from uh, starting from um, uh, OS image, then adding um, the um, uh, uh, JDK binaries. I think you switch back to uh, starting with an image coming from Eclipse Tamarin, which Kenneth right. did not do. If I'm not and, mistaken, and I'm okay with that change remaining in mine. It's a bigger change yeah. because. <laughs> What Kenneth did is he did a, a nice, elegant, sophisticated, minimal change to say, just do this. We don't need to change anything else to switch from preview to release JDK 21. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, got it. Uh, any question or remarks before we switch to that next subject? No. Okay. So very quickly, uh, we got the docker based quick start tutorials um about maven merge or last week or the week before last week we got the python one uh merged and the node.js is progressing so we still have a lot of work ahead of us but that's okay i'm happy with what we have uh, up to now and just a reminder but it was two weeks ago we're still not at six months but we have to deal with um um death uh, of operating system or at least the end of line and um, mark just, agreed yes go ahead mark it, it's not just death it's life right because yeah, when, yeah. when alpine 3.20 releases or debian 13 we need to add them 
It's it's not this is not just this is not just a, an only only putting tombstones in place. It's when when an operating system arrives on the plat on the world like Windows 12, it should probably really? be handled here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know it's it's really yeah, what? Yes, exactly. And and so so yes, we have this and it can disappear for for another five months now, as far as I can tell. Yep. Okay. That's it, unless you have uh, another subject uh, to discuss. If not, thanks a lot for your time. The video should be available from 24 to 48 hours, and we'll see each other two weeks from now. Goodbye. Great. Thanks, Kenneth. Thanks, Bruno. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.